With my previous videos, I have covered the basics of beekeeping here in the Philippines including the challenges you might face to help you decide if this is the right path for you. While it's essential to understand the process, it's just as important to know what you're working with and that's your bees. This video along with the others I have created is part of the information typically covered in a beekeeping seminar. I highly encourage attending one for proper guidance but if you can't or you just need a refresher, I hope this video will help you out. For today's topic is the three types of bees inside an Apis mellifera colony, namely the queen, the drones, and the worker bees. First, let's talk about the queen. Now, when I first started, I expected the queen to be huge and super noticeable, but that wasn't entirely the case. Yes, she's larger than the worker bees, but she's not gigantic. Her most distinguishing feature is her longer abdomen, which stores the eggs she will lay throughout her life. The queen's one and only job is to lay eggs, but her journey is to becoming the queen of the colony isn't as simple as it sounds. Once she hatches, she immediately searches for any other queen bees in the colony. If she finds another queen, whether it's a newly hatched one or one still inside her queen cell, she fights them to the death because only one queen can rule a colony. If there's already an old queen in the hive, the new queen will sting her to death. The old queen, having already been laying eggs, has an enlarged abdomen, making it difficult for her to bend and sting back. This gives the new unmated uh, queen a significant advantage. So why is there a new queen if there's already one in the hive? There's actually two possible reasons. Number one, supersedure or replacement, meaning the old queen may be sick or weak or underperforming. When the colony senses this, they prepare a new queen to take her place. Once the new queen hatches, she replaces the old dying queen. The, un the other reason could be swarming. If the colony is too crowded, the old queen will leave the hive with about half of the population to form a new colony elsewhere. In this, in this case, the newly hatched queen takes over the original hive without having to fight the old queen. So once the new queen has secured her place, she begins preparing for her most important task, which is mating. She spends a few days eating to build up strength and practices flying so she knows how to return to the hive after her mating flight. When she's ready, she flies out to a drone congregation area to mate. After mating, she returns to the hive and transitions to her primary role as an egg-laying machine. It takes a few days before she starts laying eggs, much like being in labor. When she starts, she can lay anywhere from 1,000 to 3,000 eggs per day. The queen doesn't lay eggs randomly. She decides whether to lay male or female eggs based on the size of the cell and the resources available in the hive. Her decisions, however, are not entirely on her own. She is constantly surrounded by her royal attendants, which are the worker bees that feed her, clean her, and ensure she stays healthy. These attendants also play a role in guiding her movements within the hive. Interestingly, the queen doesn't rule the hive as many beginners assume, including me. She doesn't make decisions. In fact, she's more like the colony's biggest servant, fulfilling her role so the rest of the hive can thrive. At least that's what I feel like it is. It's actually the worker bees who are the ones running the show. They monitor her performance and if she starts to falter or fail, they'll begin preparing her replacement. So contrary to popular belief, the queen is not the leader of the hive. She's more of a dedicated worker whose sole purpose is to keep the colony alive by laying eggs. Without her, there's no future for the hive 
but without the colony, the queen wouldn't survive either. Worker bees are just as crucial because without them, the colony wouldn't survive. Here's an interesting fact. Worker bees are all females. When the queen lays an egg and decides it's going to be a female, she uses some of the stored sperm she collected during her mating flight. She fertilizes the egg and a female bee is born. Worker bees themselves can lay eggs, but here's the catch. Since they haven't mated, they can only produce male bees. Their urge to lay eggs is suppressed when there's a laying queen in the colony and when there are already eggs present. But if both are absent for more than three weeks, they'll start laying eggs themselves. If no new queen is introduced, this leads to a colony full of male bees and since male bees do not work, the colony will eventually collapse. From the moment the female bee hatches, she gets to work immediately. Her role changes as she ages and her responsibilities evolve. Day 1 to 2, the first thing a worker bee does is clean her own cell. She makes sure it's ready to be used again, either for storing food or for the next brood. Day 3 to 5, during these days, she starts taking care of the larvae. She feeds them bee bread, which is a mix of honey and pollen, and she seals the cells when they're ready to pupate. Day 6 to 11, she graduates to royal duties and starts feeding the queen. Worker bees of this age group are the only ones that produce royal jelly, so they also feed this nutrient-rich substance to the baby bees who need it. From day 12 to 17, by now she's producing wax, so her tasks shift to building combs. She also cleans the hive by removing dead bees or pests and taking them outside. Fun fact, sometimes the worker bees identify sick larvae even before they hatch, and they remove them from the hive to prevent disease from spreading. Day 18 to 21, she becomes a guard bee, stationed at the hive entrance. She checks every bee that comes in to ensure it belongs to the colony. If an intruder tries to enter, she'll attack. From day 22, to 45 or until death, at this point, she graduates to her final role, which is foraging. She spends her remaining days collecting nectar, pollen, water, and propolis for the colony. This continues until she's about 40 to 45 days old or until her wings give out and she can't fly anymore. So as you can see, there are no holidays for this hardworking women. From the moment they emerge until their last breath, they work tirelessly to keep the colony thriving. What's truly fascinating is how organized they are. Every bee knows her role and together they maintain the hive's efficiency. What's even more amazing is their ability to sense when something's wrong. If there's an issue in the colony, whether it's a sick queen, a lack of resources, or an intruder, they act as a team to solve it. And last but not the least, let's talk about the male bees or also known as the drones. These chubby guys are often mistaken for queens by beginners because they're noticeably larger and fatter. But trust me, they're not queens. When you're just starting out with a small colony, you might not see a lot of drones or any at all. That's totally normal. Once the colony gets bigger and there are plenty of resources, that's when the colony decides it's ready to produce drones. And yes, this is a collective decision because drones are high maintenance. They do not do any work, they just eat and chill until it's time to mate. So producing drones has to be carefully timed since they take up resources without contributing much to the hive's day-to-day -day operations. In their first days, once they're out, they need to be fed by worker bees until they're strong enough to fend for themselves. And after a few days, they eat a ton to store energy because their only goal in life is to find a queen to mate with. 
When a drone is old enough, he'll leave the colony and fly to a drone congregation area. Basically, it's a meet-up spot where drones hang out and wait for a virgin queen to fly by. When the queen shows up, it's game on. The drones chase her mid-flight and if one manages to catch her, he mates by injecting his sperm. But here's the kicker. As soon as he's done, he dies. Yup, that's the end of the road for him. For the drones who don't manage to mate, they return to the colony, eat, and try again the next day. But here's the harsh reality. If the colony starts running low on resources or the seasons is changing, the worker bees will stop feeding them or even kick them out of the hive. Once evicted, drones can't survive on their own. Their bodies aren't designed for foraging, so they'll eventually die of starvation. It's a tough life, but that's just how it works. So are drones useless? No, not at all. They play a critical role in ensuring queens get mated, which is essential for survival of honeybee colonies. And here's something interesting. Drones never mate inside their own colony. All mating happens mid-flight and far away from their home to avoid inbreeding. This way, the queen mates with drones from different colonies, ensuring genetic diversity. So while drones may not work like female bees, they are still vital to the hive's long-term survival. Now here's the big question. Who is the most important bee in the colony? The truth is they all are. Each bee, whether it's the queen laying thousands of eggs, the workers maintaining the hive, or the drones ensuring gen genetic diversity, plays an essential role in keeping the colony alive and thriving. And don't forget about you, the beekeeper. Your role is just as important as theirs, although you're not a bee, but you're the one who steps in when they're facing challenges they can't fix on their own. Whether it's dealing with pests, managing resources, or preventing diseases. You're their support system, their problem solver, and their partner in ensuring the hive survives and prospers. So it's not about one bee being more important than the other. It's about the teamwork. The queen, the workers, the drones, and you, the beekeeper. Together, you all contribute to the success of the colony. Thanks for watching and I hope this video gave you a deeper understanding of how amazing and complex bees really are. See you in the next one.